You know where you are. This is Nollywood Pictures TV. 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 Watch Nollywood Pictures TV. And you subscribe. 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 We will be happy to subscribe now. I have this feeling that you have come to investigate me. You see, I'm not disappointed. Nay, I am a noble man and have nothing to hide. Ndobezo, I came here for a different purpose entirely. Yes, I admit that you have been investigated. And the only thing we found out is that you are into women. Huh? Me? But that should not bother you. Because we are not bothered in our family. My very self, before I got married, I was into women. Everything changed when I met my wife. And we believe in our family that the kind of careless lifestyle you live shall be corrected when you are married. Uh, I, I don't know the people who are going about with these damaging reports about my person. No, Ndubiz, you don't have to you don't have to say damaging reports because nothing has been damaged. I came here because we have decided not to wait until the time I gave you before. We now want you to arrange with the people and come to Mario Sinashi, if possible, today or unfailingly, tomorrow. No, but why this urgency? I'm still making plans, you know, on things to do. Now, you see, I, you see I, I took an oath with Nachi that no other woman will come in between us. I want her as my wife, and I want to give her an expensive marriage. You have to call down on all those individuals, because the oracle of our land has become interested in the marriage. Eh? Oh, I have always said it. I've always said it that I'm a child of destiny. That is why when I go hunting, I hunt wild animals, and I'm successful. For the gods of our land, to be interested in my marriage. I am indeed a child do, do of you know, Do you know, my problem is that you talk too much. And, and you, you don't even know what the problem is. The way you are sounding, it looks as if the interest is negative. Okay, what is it? The oracle of our land desires a new wife. And our own Osinashi is the one they have chosen. Mbano! See what I'm saying? For what? 
one the gods choose a woman I have given my heart to? No, 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 no. See, whatever they want, I can pay. I can pay. This is where you have to come in so that we can beat them to eat. <gasps> we can no longer wait until the time we gave you before. Oh, Sinashi is going to be married. You are the man. She can never be married to the oracle where she is going to be turned to the said slave of the heartless priest of the oracle. Bang! It will not happen. So we want you to arrange your gently, get her and teach you, and come and take her to the same way. That's why I'm here. Understand the urgency? Hi, I am so sorry. Now I understand what you are saying. I will not allow the gods to touch Nachi. And, no, I will not. And be a Come on, man. I'm not a man. For what? Let the oracle go and find another woman for themselves, not Nachi. I'm happy you now understand what the problem is. What nonsense? Greetings, Your Majesty. You sent for me. Yes. Your name is Adama. The daughter of uh, Odinaka of Umuaku. Yes, Your Majesty. The spiritual head of the most great cult of our kingdom asked me to summon you that you have a message for the king. I'm listening. I am humble to be summoned before you, the king, Your Majesty. But sincerely, I am very confused. Has this call anything to do with the man I saw carrying the Ojima staff? You saw a man with the Ojima staff? Yes, Your Majesty. Where? He was alone. And I know that anyone carrying that staff must not be alone. He frightened us and gave me a message for the king, Your Majesty. A message for the king? Yes. Oh, give me the message. I'll repeat his exact words, Your Majesty. He said that kings have found their way into the heart of the people, where king who went out of the ordinary to establish the truth. That those kings never dismissed any man because they knew that all men were important, Your Majesty. I'm beginning to understand the true story. <laughs> As the wife of the Baraka, take a look around this country. Look around this country. As the wife of the oracle, this is your compound. This is where you will spend the rest of your life. You are free to call any man of your choice to play with you here. On no account must you leave this place. What if I have an urgent need? That I have to handle personally. As the wife of the oracle, you no longer have a private or personal life. These are the maidens of the oracle. And they are your servants. You must learn to trust them. If there is anything you need, tell them. They already know what to do. I have never agreed to marry the Oracle. But how did you lure me into this? She is the wife of the Oracle. You shall continue to serve her until you get married. Come. Give her your oath of allegiance. You are the wife of the oracle, the queen that we know. I shall serve you with all my heart and shall never betray you. You are the wife of the oracle, the queen that we know. I shall serve you with all my heart and I shall never betray you. You are the wife of the oracle, 
the queen that we know. I shall serve you with all my heart, and I shall never betray you. Is anyone at home? Is anyone at home? This isn't the reason. Are you okay? I had a bad dream. I dreamt that I was already married to the deity and they were introducing me to some maidens that were going to take care of me in. In this very little hut, and I was going to stay there for the rest of my life. I was rejecting the dream when I heard your voice. Nachi, why don't we just run away from this kingdom? How can you say something like that? In this village, maidens don't run away with men that are not their husband. It is a taboo and an insult. You see? That's one of the reasons why I decided that I must marry in this village. Make this same offer to, 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 to the useless maidens of, of, of my village. They, 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 they follow you immediately. Eh? I'm so sorry. But you see, the maidens of my village are so debased, useless. I think you should direct your anger on the men who deceive them. Anyway, I, I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry. Let's, let's forget about them. Let's talk about us. What do you want to talk about? Good. I am ready for marriage. But I will not run away with you. I want us to beat the oracle before the full moon. Your uncle told me that they are waiting for the full moon. They can even wait for another one. The truth is, I will not get married to an oracle. No! Good. Look, my people and I were coming to marry you next, Eke. What? What? Are you sure of what you're saying? <laughs> Are you aware that the next Eke day is next tomorrow? I am aware. And yeah. I've told your uncle and he has given me all the he has given me the list of all the necessary things and I've provided for that. I'm so glad. It means that you have to wait for my father to come back. He will come back so very soon. Okay? No, no problem. God, I can't wait to just leave this place. That's right. By the way, I brought some specially roasted meat for you, mm. my love. Mm -hmm. I know you like it. I know that's what you like. <laughs> Do you like it? Mm. Hello. <laughs> you like it? Come here. Thank you. The maiden told me that uh, he saw a man with the gym master. And that man was a rogue. You are the custodian of the gym master. Are you the person she saw? I will agree with you that I am the custodian of the gym master. But what I don't understand is this allegation that I was sighted alone with the staff. I am not aware of it. But if it happened, then it means that the gods used me to send a message. And that message must be taken seriously. Can you exactly tell me why you were asking those questions you were asking the other day? Your Majesty, if not for my love for this kingdom, I would not have answered this call. I came before my king to ask questions and seek clarifications on things I'm confused about. My king refused to answer me. I, 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 was, I was practically bundled out of the palace. Odemma. Please, I'm sorry. Forgive your king. The, uh, and, and who am I to bear grudges against my king? I have already forgiven everything. And that is why I came as soon as I was called. I'm here. Now, tell me. 
Why were you asking those questions? The priest of the oracle came up with the information that the oracle desires a new wife. And they came to our family to announce that Oshinashi, my niece, is the one the oracle has selected as the wife. I was excited. I supported the idea originally. Then I had a revelation. We are two priests of one oracle of Ozemede tied a maiden in the bush. This was the maiden that was married to that same oracle of Ozemede. They tied her in the bush and for three days they were raping that helpless maiden. It then cleared from my eyes and then I started to understand that this is possibly what the priests of our oracle are planning to unleash on my knees. That is why I came before you to ask that question. A woman is married to the oracle that is a deity. Who is the man or who are the men that sleep with that maiden? That was just the question and I didn't get any answer. What do you know about that? The only thing I can say is that I saw two priests of the oracle walking on the abandoned hut. The hut inhabited by Juan Yego, the last wife of the oracle who died 30 years ago. But I did not bother to ask them why they were repairing the hut. Of course I know. I know why they were repairing the hut. They are, they are repairing that hut because that is where they want to have as their abode. Where they will use in raping my, my, my knees. It will not work. How come about that they never informed me about that? Of course. <laughs> There's no way they will tell you. They can't tell you because they know you are a noble king that you cannot support such evil move. I want to see all members of Kojima this night. Please, Your Majesty. Uh, tell your people that we are ready. When you come with your people next tomorrow, we are going to make the ceremony brief. And you go home with your wife. Hmm? Nay, thank you so much. Uh, I'm really impressed. I've been discussing with my wife to be here, and she's equally excited. Mm, it's good to hear. I know that both of you are going to make a good couple. Mm. Thank you so much, Nay. Thank you so much. I was informed that the oracle desires a wife 30 years after the last one was buried. I was also informed that you have made a choice from Ozono village. Now I ask, is it true or mere allegation against the priest? There are no allegations. Everything you heard is true. The oracle desires a wife. And we have already made a choice in Osinachi, a beautiful maiden of Uzuna village. I'm not comfortable. Why, your majesty? I'm the king of this kingdom. And you are the chief priest of the oracle of my land. How could such a thing arise in this kingdom? And you do not deem it necessary to inform me about it. <clears throat> the ways of the oracle are not connected to the kingdom politics. We didn't deem it necessary to inform you because we know that you cannot stand in the way of the oracle. Mm. Okay. When do you hope to pin the marriage? <laughs> in a few days from today, the moon shall become full. And when the moon becomes full, we shall expect Ichi Ugonabo to bring us the maiden. Make you cool. <laughs> and we have told him, because we know he cannot dare the oracle. 
Now, when the maiden becomes the wife of the oracle, who is the man that takes responsibility for her life with regards to her conjugal needs? There are questions His Majesty must not ask. This is why we decided to follow up with this without bringing in the kingdom politics. I'm asking because someone in this kingdom had a revelation where the priest of one oracle tied a median in the bush. And that median was the wife of the oracle. And we are raping her for days. Could this possibly be what we are planning here? Eh? The only thing I will tell His Majesty is that the wife of the Oracle is treated with every respect as a queen. I don't know anything about the revelation on rape. It could happen in another kingdom. Definitely not here mm -mm. in Okwele. Mm -mm. mm -mm. You know, I actually I was I, I was uh, I was actually planning an elaborate and massive marriage, but your father overruled it. He said he wants everything brief. So I you say I don't want to ever argue with him. Personally, I don't care about the contents of the wedding. I just want to go on with the ceremony, experience it, and know that the gods have. Blessed us that I can go home with you as your wife. Okay. You will have your heart's desire. You know what? You are the best. And I will really give you nothing but the best. This is the very first time the king of our Okwele kingdom shall be visiting me at night. I will not say that I am surprised. But I know surely that whatever is the reason for this visit, it must be important. I want to hear it. Obuevo Kolecha, we are the only trusted elder we have in this kingdom. And whenever I'm confused on any matter, we are the only one I rely on. I'm here because I'm confused. What is it that confuses you, my king? What is the process of selecting a wife for the oracle? Thirty years ago, when we buried my ego, the last wife of the oracle, you were not the king there. There must be a reason for your asking about the wife of the oracle. I'm asking because the priest of the oracle said that uh, the oracle wants to marry again. Uh, if this is true, you must be a lucky man. Because anyone that sits as the king during the time a wife is married to the oracle receives a special blessing from the gods and ancestors. Uh, I am happy it is happening during your reign. I'm elated. But can you tell me the process of selecting the wife for the oracle? has nothing to do with you. The oracle speaks to the priests and they speak to the people. When the oracle needs a wife, he makes his choice to the priest and the priest pick it from there. Do I have a role as king? Hmm. Of course. Your role is to ensure that any girl named by the oracle must be married to the oracle. What if the family of the girl, or even the girl herself, 
refuses to marry the oracle. What shall I do? It has always been the norm. Each time the oracle names a wife, the wife and the family will raise opposition. The priest of the oracle will come in with his, with his powers to enforce the wishes of the oracle. But ultimately, the king is the authority that must use the powers of the throne to ensure that the oracle gets what he wants. Hmm, with your Kolacha. You are a man of wisdom. You are the original custodian of our custom and tradition. I'm happy. I bow down in greetings. No, 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 my king. No. Rise. Go and implement the verdict of the oracle. I even uh, uh, surprised that it took him a whole 30 years to desire another wife. Um, but one more thing. Who is the man that actually marries this wife for the oracle? Is he the priest? She makes her choice from the people that pay homage to her husband, that is the oracle. She can invite anyone from the men to visit her royal court. But the thing is that she will never visit any man in his court. I agree with you that Indubius has not been quite an honorable man. But that's not good enough reason for you to plan to destroy his marriage. The maidens in the village are angry. It's, it's, it's understandable. Because uh, Indubuzi is finally, finally marrying from another village. But what I would not want them to do is to take this matter to the extreme. Bam, 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 bam. Atora, so you believe I'm taking this matter to the extreme? See, listen to me. He claims he's getting married next tomorrow. But this same man is still luring our maidens to his bed. You don't believe me. Even as we speak right now, I have it on a very good note that he has taken Uzomili to his house. Yeah. Uzomili? Which Uzomili? My own Uzomili? Or some other Uzomili? I can't lie to you about this. Your own Uzomili, of course. You don't believe me. I don't agree with you. I don't agree with you. This very evening I was with Uzomili. And she told me that she was traveling back to her father's farm settlement. No, no, no. Mm-hmm. You see? You see why everybody in this village has to deal with him to peace? Not just the maidens alone. Even your own in Uzomili does not mean anything to him. You have to handle it. Listen to me. I will not lie to you at all. I don't agree with you, Adama. I find it difficult to believe you. Uzomili is in Ununu right now. And if you are planning, if you are planning to deal with Ndubuz, I don't do it your own way. Don't get me involved. Please. I'm leaving. Uh, Adora, wait. Don't go. Be go. Don't go. See, listen to me. My name is Adama. Okay? You know me very well, as well as every other person in this community. I am not a busybody. Even if you don't believe me, why don't you go and verify? Let's go and verify now. Stop it. What do you think you're doing? I am betrothed to your friend at all. Why would you seek to sleep with me? Listen, from the way you are talking, it's a confirmation of the fact that you are still a virgin. So, if you know that I'm a virgin, why would you want to defile me? I'm here because you told me you'd be going to the bush. Uh -huh. And that you will lead me to my father's settlement in Ananda. It is clear to me that you had other plans. Oh, no, 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 no. How can you say things like that? See, I'm a great hunter. But I don't go for all those small, small animals that move in the afternoon. I go for deadly animals that move at sunset. And you still go. Say, now just give me what I want. Just come Wait, on. wait. Just please. give me what I want. Wait, wait. wait. Let, let me be sincere with you. In the busy. Oh, oh, what's that your name again? Okay. You will not have me. And I will never, ever follow you to the bush. Oh, oh. Ah. It's, 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 it's,
it's obvious you want me to rape you. See, just do, I will do exactly what I've said I will do. See, I've done it before and I will still do it again. Just like that. Wait, wait, wait. You're not serious. Will you give it to me? Will you give it to me? Will you give it to me? Or see, I'll rape, I'll do it exactly as I've said. I've done it, Sarah. Come on. You want to rape a woman betrayed to your best friend? I'm just Who is that? It's me, Adam. Mama, we need to talk. Why does this destroyed make always work for me now? <laughs> what, what, what is it? What, what is it? You have no shame. I told her, yes, my best friend. You want to sleep with all my friends before you close your legs? <laughs> what, can I, what is it? In the pussy. Why, why, why do you want to punch me? <laughs> shut up! Just shut up! You have, you have nothing to explain to me. Because I was listening to the arguments you guys were having inside. So just shut up and don't provoke me. So this is you. This is you. After all, I did for you in this kingdom. You had the guts to lure my own woman into your heart that you may sleep with her. Look, why are you just concluding on something you, 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 you did not see? Shut up! Shut up! But you will see. So what are you trying to tell me? We would not know at the time that we did. It would have been a different story. You would have raped my own woman that I was about to marry. That's after the harvest. That is in the business. Are you? 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 you? I have every reason to be angry with you. But I will not be. But I want you to understand something that I'm completely disappointed in you. Completely disappointed in you that you could be so gullible. Easily cornered. Hey! Please, my lord. I am sorry. Please forgive me. You know the road to Onono is very frightening. I planned to go with my friend, but she disappointed me. Along the line, I met Ndubizi. <laughs> and he promised to lead me there. I don't want to hear any of that argument. Because it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense to me. Adora, please, it's okay. What it's is this? Okay. She didn't go to him. It was Ndubizi that I'm your I'm very angry right now. <laughs> eh? Very angry that I don't want to do anything. I don't want to do anything. Something that I will regret later. Anyway, thank you for that information. I hear me. Now, just take her home me? and you go home yourself. I'll like see you this? tomorrow. Please, my love. Please. Don't say one more thing because I'm really angry. I am boiling at this moment. Don't provoke me beyond this point. Uzomen, don't provoke me beyond this point. <laughs> Don't worry, stand up. Adora, stand up. Don't worry, stand up. Hey, don't cry again. Don't worry. Is here. The news is everywhere in this kingdom that Rosinaji is getting married to the Oracle. And I am sure that it must be the chief priest of the Oracle that caused that information to spread everywhere. I don't know what you think, but I'm telling you as my brother that I'm going to deal with that man. <sighs> my brother, what are you going to do? Do you know that every person I told about the ceremony that is going to happen here next tomorrow declined the invitation? They said they will not dare the oracle. All of them said that they will not attend a ceremony where a woman that has been 
named the wife of an oracle is given to a man. So from the look of things, it's going to be you and me. That will be there to give uh, our daughter, our daughter's hand away in marriage. When you when you sound this way, I I I only have this impression that you look down on me. Mm -mm. And then my brother, I'm not looking down on you. I'm only telling you the truth. The handwriting is on the wall. You and I are the only ones that are in this alone. You know, it is very clear to me that you are weak on this. And I'm telling you that I'm not even bothered. Because I can go all out alone. I was the one that saw the revelation. I saw the revelation and I know what I saw. The rape. And there is no way I will ever allow our Osina she to be married to the oracle where she will be turned into a sex slave. It's not possible. Anene, my brother, I share your sentiments. But I want us to remember that here we are talking about the oracle. The oracle. And what about the oracle? What about the oracle? Which oracle? I took pains to investigate on the bees of Omar. The only thing I found out is that he is a womanizer. No, you don't need to be surprised. Because I investigated him. A womanizer. His own level of irresponsibility is so high that he has practically slept with almost all the maidens in Omar. And then, if that is what you found out, why are we then going ahead with this ceremony? Because I can tell him, I can tame him. He's a human. I can tame him, pin him down where I want him to, to be. And then, eh? I am not ready to give my one and only daughter to a man that has no respect for womanhood. I prefer him ahead of the oracle because he is a human. If after Marino Sinashi and he fails to treat her, the way she has to be treated, I will beat him up. It is better for us to allow Ndubizu to marry Osinashi because if the oracle marries her, we are helpless. What did I give him? I bring you greetings from the throne. We greet you also. Um, so what do we owe the honor of this visit and greeting? The king would like to see you before the throne first thing tomorrow morning. Has anything happened? I'm only a messenger of the throne and I've delivered the message. Do not fail to appear before the king. It is a matter of life and death. Anene, did you hear that? Did you hear that? A matter of life and death. Eh? What does that mean? It means nothing. Is this why you stood? What are you? Why? 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 It's just a useless language that the king coined in the palace to intimidate us. I am not intimidated. And I wouldn't want my brother to be intimidated. Is it because of this 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 good love that he said? Is that what you stood? Oh, no, no, I'm going to go on your My dear, you have to go home now. I will stop here. Thank you very much. Okay. I never knew what would have happened if he didn't come to my rescue. I never knew he was like that. Now you know. I do not want to stand here and discuss a low life like Ndubizu. But I don't know what you were thinking when you followed him all the way to his house. What were you thinking? He was supposed to take me to my father's farm settlement, you know. I go to his place and he started acting funny. I never thought of what he eventually started because he knows I'll be getting married to his best friend. That is because you don't know him. Now you know who he is. You have to be very careful. And pray that Atura forgives you. Do you understand? Good night, my dear. 
Are you not going to tell me what the problem is? I overheard your husband say some negative things about my husband to be. It just weakened me. Really? I can see there is a problem here. Can someone tell me what the problem is? Osina, she said she overheard you saying something negative about the young man of Umwaku that wants to marry her. Mm. Mwamaka, my dear wife, can you please excuse us? Online. Oh. Can you please tell me the negative thing you overheard me saying about the man of Omako? What are you doing there now? Come inside now. I'm waiting for you to go to the room. You said I should come and tell you now. Are you going to stay outside? So won't you come inside? I should come inside. Come inside and do what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to waste any time here. See, you have already seen me coming with you. I don't want to waste any time before they will start thinking of something else. Teacher, why are you doing this now? Just come inside now. Just come and come inside now. Come inside and do what? Okay, see, eh? see, 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 I'm going to do a sizable lump of meat tomorrow. Hey, what? What's your name, Latam? Hey! See, just come and help me now. Just come, just come and help me. I should come and help you. Eh? Hey! Aro! Believe that you're under a curse. Me. Now <laughs> I'm beginning to understand. Yeah. You can keep the money or you give it to my mother when you see her tomorrow. What is the meaning of this? Why are you kneeling? Just to tell you how helpless I am. Just come and help me. Hey. If you leave me like this, I will not survive tomorrow. Just name my Just help me. Hey! Hey! Be cool, be cool. Hey. Just come and help me, be cool. I never know it is this bad. Hey! You can never make me part of your course. Hey! Yeah. Just come and give it to me now. Just give me just. I, I, I should give it to you. I, I should give it to you. Take it now. Take it. I should give it to you. Useless man. Come and take it now. Give it to you. Oh, come and take it. You don't want to take it. Does it mean that the maidens of Umuaku no longer like meat? How come I can't have any meat this night? Hey. I don't think I want to go on with that marriage. Why? Is it because I told you he isn't a woman? That is nothing, Osinashi. It is nothing. I sincerely believe that everything will become normal with him when he is married. <laughs> Oh, 
sinachi oh eh eh ah ma malamba abo monkego o sinachi atalugo ma malamba o sinachi ne pe kamia ne ke konwa o sinachi ifi cholo menegi o sinachi o mura moro de kage Sinachi, oh, eh, eh, ah, mama lamba, ibunke mo, oh, sinachi, oh, eh, eh, ah, mama lamba, abo monke go, oh, sinachi. Since I was a child, I've always known the kind of man I want to marry. Nachi, I'm that man. Listen, Nachi, I, I find in you a complete woman. And when we become man and wife, you see, that will be the best thing that has ever happened to my life. I have a different orientation about marriage. Some say I'm too demanding. Nachi, listen. I am the great hunter from Omago. I have all it takes to satisfy your demands. My demands are not material things. I'm not one to demand material things. So, what is this demand? And what is this different orientation you have about marriage? Men of this town feel it's okay to marry many wives. Half the women of this village, if not all of them, actually share the same thoughts. But I don't. My husband will be mine and mine alone. And any man who gets interested in getting married to me would not desire another woman after marrying me. Never. That will never be a problem. See, I don't even want to marry more than one wife. See, that you are not into women. And if the gods bless me with a woman like you, why do I need another woman? What? Rotate around your head and throw it away. This will be our oath that you would never back out from what you have just promised today. Never. I've always wanted a woman like you for a wife. I love you so much. And I want to promise that no other woman will ever come in between us. Love shines brighter than the sun. Two hearts are stronger when the beat has won. I'm angry because he lied to me. He told me that he was not a womanizer. And here you are confirming to me that he's a conk womanizer. How on earth am I going to get married to such a man? Okay. Would you rather then be married to the Oracle? I am not going to get married to the Oracle too. I will stay single until I see that man that fits my dreams. Oh, Nashi, you cannot do this to yourself. You cannot crucify this man because he is into women. It does not make sense. Before I met my wife, my dear, I was also into women. But everything changed when I got married. And I believe the same thing will happen to this individual of homework. 
we have to do everything possible to give you out in marriage to him before the full moon. Because you cannot afford to remain single until the full moon. If you remain single until the full moon, the oracle is going to take you by force. That is not the faith I want for my niece. Can't you just understand this? Your husband must be a human being, not a deity. Make up your mind, Osnashi, please. Please. We have not witnessed it before. That is why we believe that we can change it. But the truth is that nobody can change our tradition. Nobody. Go now. The priest has already named your daughter, Osinaji, as the selected bride to the oracle. And she must be married to the oracle. Um, uh, Igwe. Osinachi is built to be married to a man from uh, Umwako village tomorrow. Eh? Hey. With what God? Tomorrow? Your mind is already made up concerning this marriage. Are you now telling us to cancel everything concerning the arrangement for that marriage? Is that what you are telling us? Okay. We came for an answer. Because we are confused about the whole thing. Why are you giving me the impression that you disobey the oracle? Why are you still talking of the man from Umako? When I'm telling you that your daughter must be married to the oracle? Uh, I don't have time for all these things. I don't have time. Because I know that the tradition will descend heavily on you if you disobey this directive. Uh, uh, but, your, your Majesty. Yes? Have you forgotten the revelation I had, which I told you about? That your revelation is irrelevant. Because uh, I've inquired from the Iyogwefi Okolota, who is the, the, the encyclopedia of this arrival. And he told me that nobody Nobody can rape the wife of the oracle. So, Your Majesty, who is the man that sleeps with this wife of the oracle? Or are you telling us mm. that the Wilfrey Kolocha confirmed to you that the oracle does that himself? The wife of the oracle makes her choice among the men that pay homage to her husband. And she has the right even to invite a man to her halt. If she becomes pregnant, her child or children will be taken care of. We cut that for by men and women of this kingdom. Eh? Now I will give order as the king. The marriage of Osnachi to the oracle must hold on the full moon. But, yes. Mm -hmm. Disobedience by anybody will amount to disobedience to royal order. And uh, I, I believe that uh, your family will not like to experience the rats of the king. Yeah. I have spoken. What is wrong with you? Eh? Why are you invoking the gods against me? I don't know about this. 